Here behind me, I have the Goodlettsville Help Center, where they've been helping the needy in Goodlettsville for almost 100 years. The Goodlettsville Help Center is a nonprofit located in the heart of Goodlettsville that helps people throughout the year with all kinds of things, from utility bills to housing and providing food for citizens. Well, the Goodlettsville Help Center is basically a food pantry. We, we feed anyone that wants to be here in the 37072 zip code. Uh, we'll also help our clients get a room at Red Roof Inn if they're, you know, if they're out and they're homeless. We'll put them up in a, in a hotel room. Uh, and December the 5th, 6th, and 7th, we'll be having Christmas for kids here. In 2017, the Help Center provided food for more than 3,385 families worth more than $500,000. According to Mr. Cordell, the best way people can help is by donating food or by supporting Treasure Hunters, the nonprofit thrift store run by the Help Center. Treasure Hunters, that's our thrift store, and people from the Gullisville area and surrounding areas will donate anything they want to there, and we sell the items in there. And all the money that they raise there, they send here for us to do everything that I explained to you. So they really float us. They're very important to us. This nonprofit will help people for many years to come. J.B. Orem, WBHS 9. Here at Brentwood United Methodist Church, the administration is setting up an event to give presents to people in need this holiday season. There are more than 100 people donating to the Angel Tree this year for kids affected by AIDS and HIV. Uh, angel Tree Association where people can come, uh, they can take an angel off the tree, they can look at items that they can purchase for um, a child who is either affected by AIDS, HIV, or one of their, their parents or siblings is affected by AIDS or HIV. There are more than 100 people donating to the Angel Tree this year for kids affected by AIDS and HIV. Um, so people will be bringing their items to the narthex, which is the room right outside of our main sanctuary, uh, so all the items will be brought there. Um, back to the tree, so they'll return back to the tree in which they took the item off of. Brown United Methodist Church is clearly making a positive impact on the local community. Ethan Bauer, WBHS 9 News. Room in the Inn provides shelter and food during the winter for Nashville's homeless community. Its mission is to provide programs that emphasize human development and recovery. The organization does this through education, self-help, and work. It creates a community and provides long-term support for those who call the streets of Nashville home. Uh, Room in the Inn gives a place for hundreds of homeless people to get off the streets during the coldest months from November 1 through March 31. About 180 churches are involved and we're the only campus involved and we hold the ministry right on campus at the Belmont Ministry Center. This ministry allows the homeless to do things such as washing your clothes, showering, eating three good meals, and having a place to sleep. Room in the End not only takes place in Nashville, but many different cities across the U.S. participate in this event. The type of people I meet at Room in the Inn are women that have just gone through extreme hardship and they found themselves in places where they can't really get out of. So we just get to be able to be with them and help them out in small ways. Room in the Inn is a significant ministry in the lives of many of those in need in Nashville. Jasmine Jordan Lake, WBHS 9 News. Feed America First is a nonprofit organization made to help overcome hunger in America. In 2018, they distributed 14 million pounds of food, and by the end of the month, they will have distributed more than 100 million pounds since 2000. Well, we chartered Feed America First in 2000 with the intent of redistributing food from manufacturers, distributors, growers, and other charities, and so that we could get it to rural and small town agencies that are feeding people in the area. It's harder to reach than the metropolitan area. Volunteers are vital to the organization, as they have several food sorting and packaging events each week. They need volunteers so they can sort, package, and transport the food to those in need. This week, they were sorting food for the Hurricane Harvey Relief Organization. I would say there's probably 80 volunteers today. The reason volunteers are important to us, uh, an awful lot of people think of hunger is a bigger worldwide intractable problem. What could, I, what could one person do about hunger? Well, the fact is that hunger happens to somebody two doors away when they lose their job or have a medical emergency or lose their health insurance. And uh, so they, there's these quiet disasters that are happening all over the place. And our role is to help get food to the people who are, who are answering that need. Every time we think of hunger, we think about it as a problem in third world countries. But the truth is, it affects people in our own neighborhood. Devin Prasad, WBHS 9 News.
One small town Tennessee school is diving right into the giving spirit. With Christmas approaching, Charlotte Middle School is continuing their 15 year tradition of doing the Angel Tree program. Um, the purpose of our Angel Tree in this school is we have a, um, a high amount of our students who qualify for free and reduced lunch and that's sometimes the only good meals that they get and without the Angel Tree at Christmas time they may likely not get many presents and Christmas would not be as happy for them. Sixth grade teacher Josie Smith finds it important to teach her students to give a good attitude around the holidays. Even if they have nothing to give, they can spread happiness. We have kids, I mean, come to school with holes in their shoes and, you know, clothes that, that may be a lot of hand-me-downs or clothes that have holes in them or tears in them. And so um, around the holidays, we, the Angel Tree is a way to benefit these students. And even though they might not have a lot at home, they come to school with good attitudes. And a lot of these kids have grown up together and, like, they play sports together and they're always around each other. The Angel Tree program has become a much appreciated necessity at Charlotte Middle School, helping the students look forward to Christmas. Ashley Woodrick, WBHS 9 News. Over the weekend, we went to the Ronald McDonald House to see what kind of work they do for those in need. Denise Harbert shared with us what they do for those staying at the Ronald McDonald House. So I am currently a weekend manager. I come in Fridays at 5 p.m. and leave Sundays at 5 p.m. So it's the same thing as a volunteer. Whenever there's not a volunteer here, I just sit at the desk, help families come in, and serve them best we can. For Denise and many of the volunteers, they serve due to personal reasons. Um, actually, my brother was born premature, and my mom started volunteering here because she stayed at the Ronald McDonald House when my brother was born 26 years ago. So it's kind of a family thing. We just do it to give back. The Ronald McDonald House is a place for families who need a place to stay that's near the hospital. They provide breakfast every day, and they provide lunch and dinner on the weekends. They also have a library and playroom for kids, and they can always use help. Um, they can support the house through donations, through um, maybe doing meals for the house, or our biggest thing is pull tabs, the, tap, the top to the Coke or Sprite or whatever it is that you drink, soup tabs, any kind of pull tab like that. Right, a bull rub, WBHS 9 News. The Nashville Humane Association rescues abandoned animals and takes them here to be adopted by people. Over a thousand animals every year are saved by the Nashville Humane Association, cats and dogs included, most of which are adopted about a month or two after they are rescued. The vision for this place is to um, rescue as many animals as we can, to rehome them to the right homes, and to get them off the streets and out of the puppy mills and you know, the disasters, and that's the mission for it. Many animals around Nashville are abandoned, and they're taken here to be rescued and adopted. Well, it's gotten better f because we, I mean, this shelter and the surrounding area shelters, they do a lot of work, you know, getting these animals off the street and to help people who um, bring them in and it, I mean, it, it's, it is a problem, though. Will King, WBHS 9 News. Make Nashville is a place where people can build whatever they want and fundraise for the annual Make Affair, where students and adults can learn about STEAM, which stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Arts, and Math. It consists of a tech lab, a 3D printing lab, fabric shop, wood shop, and a ceramic shop. We share workspace. We rent out. Uh, we, 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 ex we offer memberships, and it's kind of like a, a gym membership, but with tools and space to work. We also have classes and um, workshops and uh, events. A large part of the budget is used for rent and more. The monthly rent that we have to pay on the space, um, that's a few thousand dollars that we, we pay for the approximately 5,000 square feet that we have here in Five Points, East Nashville. We also have maintenance costs on some equipment. Make Nashville also supports the annual Make Affair each year where adults and children can learn about the scientific design process and learning of other nifty inventions. Make Nashville is truly helping students learn STEAM and helping the community with their learning skills. Mark McCarr, WBHS 9. In 2006, Proverbs 1210 Rescue was incorporated as a non-profit 
organization with the goal of taking animals off the streets. They spend nearly half a million dollars in animal care and services each year. Proberts is a special rescue for multiple reasons, one being that they are truly a no-kill rescue based in Nashville. In addition to that, they have a large um, volunteer group that helps, and they even have a group of volunteers that go out to feed some feral dogs and have rescued puppies um, from, those puppy, from those dogs. Funds for medical care and food are raised by a variety of events such as bake sales, raffles, and participation in large media campaigns such as the Big Payback. The focus is to get homes for animals. You can adopt through Proverbs through going online to Proverbs1210rescue.org. You can also look on Pet Finder or on Adopt-A-Pet. They're also at Petco in Bellevue every Saturday from 10 to 2. You can help out Proverbs by volunteering or donating at their website, Proverbs 1210 Rescue. Braden Thaney, WBHS 9 News. I'm here in front of Coach Campbell's office, where she has decided to collect money for the janitors this Christmas. For the past 10 years, Coach Campbell and other teachers have been collecting money for the janitors this Christmas. Well, um, it's been several years, I would say maybe 10 years. And um, it's just been um, my pleasure to uh, you know, collect donations from teachers, from the students here at Brentwood High School for our janitors to make their Christmas a little merrier. And it's been very successful. Coach Campbell has full intent of keeping this tradition for the coming years. Oh, absolutely. We'll do it every year for them. And I, it's not just me. Uh, Heather McHugh, the art teacher here at Brentwood, she got involved, um, I guess, two years ago and has just done a great job. Well, we really like to give to Narciso and Guadalupe, our daytime full-time janitors. They do a lot here at Brentwood, and especially with our lunch being the way it is, you know, they spend a lot of time cleaning up after us. Well, it seems Christmas for the janitors will definitely be more merrier. Keaton Hardwick, WBHS 9. At Brown High School, Coach Campbell is raising money until Christmas for some of the hardest working people at school, the custodians. Just wanted to tell you a little bit about how we're collecting donations for our janitors for Christmas and how you can donate. Uh, Ms. McEwen in art is her art students are helping with collecting donations. And then um, I myself, I'll be running around the hallways um, asking for donations. They are taking donations until Christmas break and are trying to raise as much money as possible. The, the, our janitors work hard for us. Narciso and his wife, Guadalupe, are full-time daytime. And, you know, cleaning up after everybody for lunch and all the extra things they do for us. Uh, we're just really excited about the opportunity to give them a, a merrier Christmas. Luke Ellinger, WBHS 9 News. Today we are here at the Cool Springs Gallery and Mall where the Salvation Army is here with their Angel Tree program taking donations. Every year the Salvation Army sets up its Angel Tree in many locations to collect gifts for children in need. People can choose a ticket for an angel and bring toys for them. The Angel Tree helps uh, families in need based on a federal income poverty level basis to get a Christmas for children who otherwise wouldn't have much or any. Many choose to volunteer and feel that more people should participate in the program. We participate as a family each year with the Angel Tree uh, program and so both of our sons, Connor and Jake, uh, help us to pick out the gifts and figure out what to get for each child. I think more and more people need to take part in volunteering, whether it's volunteering to bring presents for Christmas or cook somebody a meal. We then asked a fifth grader about why he loves participating in buying the gifts for the kids. I like to pick out the presents because, well, you don't know what the emotion is when they get it. They could be happy or they could be astonished at what you, you got them. As of December 1st, all angels have been adopted. 
If you want to participate in the Salvation Army Tree Program, you will have to wait till next year. Nathan's Honor, WB Just 9 News.